Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be covering Super Saiyan Blue Shell. It's been a minute since I talked about him, and loads of people want to know, uh, when are we getting him? Because it feels like a lot of people thought, oh, third anniversary might be a good time, because hey, it's anniversary, but we did not get Super Saiyan Blue Shell. But I do want to mention before we jump in here, I am going to be covering what happens in the new story that has been released, you know, book five. So if you haven't played it yet, and you don't want it spoiled, because I'm going to cover everything in it, because it's important to talking about when we should expect Shallot to go Super Saiyan Blue, then go play it, pause this video, and then come back when you're done. This is kind of your spoiler warning. If you want to play through it yourself and experience it yourself first, I know that's important, so I wanted to let you guys know that. But now, if you're still here, you've either played it, or you're fine with me going over it and you not playing it. So, in it, we got Book 5, and it starts out basically with Shallot. This is, of course, going to be like an abridged version. I'm not going to play all the story scenes, because this would take a very long time if I did that. But Shallot's fighting Goku Black, and they fight for a few battles, I believe, then. And let's see, in book or chapter 3 here, yep, he goes Rose. He stops playing around, and then he finally goes Rose. He beats up Shallot. Shallot, Shallot's hanging in there, but it's not going well. He's definitely not winning. Goku Black is definitely winning the battle. And then Zamasu appears, the normal Zamasu, and Shallot, Shallot's not going to win. He's got no hope. But if you remember at the very beginning, or at the end of the last book, Rildo was there to kill Shallot on Saha's orders, but Goku Black actually beat up Rildo, got rid of him. And when Zamasu arrives, you realize the reason that they're doing this is because they're doing this on their own, the two Zamasus, I guess, because Goku Black is also Zamasu. But they're doing this on their own, not at Zaha's orders. They want to capture Shallot. They're not here to kill Shallot, they want to capture Shallot. And they feel he has some use, and they want him. So they're here to capture Shallot, of course, alive, although they do warn him, if you resist, you might leave here with a few limbs, you might leave here a few limbs lighter, is I believe what Goku Black says, and so clearly, they don't care if they cut off, you know, limbs, hurt Shallot, but they want him alive, for whatever reason, as you know, he was used by Zaha to power up the, uh, tool that Zaha's using. And with that, things are looking pretty grim for Shallot. Not looking good. Super Saiyan God's not getting the job done against Zamasu, who is immortal, if you remember from the anime, and then Goku Black, who has Rose, which is above God. And so things are not going well for Shallot until Hit arrives. Yes, Universe 6 best assassin Hit comes out and saves Shallot. He says he's actually there. He's been contracted to keep Shallot alive, keep him safe. So Shallot's obviously confused because Hit beat him up before, but. They're working together. Hit is using his time skip. Goku Black and Zamasu are bewildered by this time skip. They don't know what's going on. And Hit, of course, makes some snarky remarks like, Goku knew how to beat it, or figured out how to beat it. And, you know, they don't like that. A mortal being better than the gods? Nah, nah, nah. They ain't a fan of that. But so, after a little while, Shallot then gets goes Super Saiyan God again and says, let's beat him together. I'm not stepping down, Hit. We're going to do this together. And Hit says, all right, as long as you don't get in my way. They fight him a bit. Hits time skip, super big. And then, after a while, Goku Black is injured. Like, he's hurt, you can see he's been... Well, I guess you can't really see, because it's, you know, the graphics forever. But Hit mentions that he's beat up. And, of course, Zamasu, immortal, can't take damage. Like, he just regenerates, and so he's fine. And, but, Goku Black and Zamasu aren't giving up. Hit says you should give up, but they say, no, we're here to get Shallot. And then, save the day, Goku, instant transmissions in, and... This is it. Goku Black and Zamasu know they're not beating Goku, Hit, and Shallot. All the Shallot. Shallot's like barely standing at this point. And so they retreat. Goku Black, of course, says he'll be back to make Shallot pay. Because Shallot said that the gods are nothing without mortals. And uh, that doesn't fly. That does not fly one bit with Zamasu. And so with that, they flee. Shallot then thanks Goku for showing up and Hit for saving him. And then Shout wants to ask Hit questions like, who hired you? Why are you protecting me? And all this stuff. But he passes out because he was he was destroyed by Goku Black and Zamasu. It's, it, he was really beat up. He was barely standing at the end there. And then it cuts to Goku and Hit talking. You find out Goku hired Hit. Goku paid Hit to keep Shout alive while Goku went and completed another mission, which was collecting people. And he says he's completed the mission. He's got the people he needs. And that this is their time to fight back. So... It seems that Goku has collected whoever it is he needs to, and that they're now going to go on the offensive against Zaha, Zamasu, you know, the whole gang gaggle, if you please, of villains in this Dragon Ball Legends story. And in the preview, they mentioned that part 10 of the book is done. We're done with part 10 of the book, and so the next 
installment we get will be part 11. So we'll be jumping to a new chapter. It will no longer be the enemy steps forward. It'll probably be like a counterattack or something, you know, something along those lines since Goku says we're going to be fighting back. And that's that's really it. Then Hit and Goku joke about how Goku's going to pay Hit. But that's the important stuff of the story. And why did I bring you all through that? Because maybe you forgot or, you know, you didn't remember it, whatever. You just kind of played it for the CC. But it's important for figuring out Shallot. It's important to know what's going on in the story for predicting these type of things. So now that we're caught up there, what should we expect? Well, our next part is part 11. We can tell Super Saiyan God is no longer getting the job done. So, of course, it would be logical then that Shallot would then probably go Super Saiyan Blue. Of course, if they decided, as we know, with, Za with Goku Black, when Zamasu stole Goku's body and became Goku Black, he became Rosé instead of Super Saiyan Blue. He had a unique transformation because he was a god who was going Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. And instead of blue hair, he got rosé hair. So could Shout potentially get different because he still has his tail? Maybe. But I feel, based off what we know, he would still go Super Saiyan Blue. So he'd probably go Super Saiyan Blue. I guess he could go Super Saiyan 4, but he hasn't really done anything that would lead me to believe that's going to happen. So we're going to go Super Saiyan Blue. And I don't think it'll be right away in Part 11. I don't. I think there will be stuff where they show the team Goku has assembled... They'll talk about their counterattack. They'll do some battles. So in what will be book one of part 11, I don't think Shout will go Super Saiyan Blue. And book part two, or book two, I should say, book two of part 11, Shallot, just based off my gut feeling of how things have kind of been going and where the whole timeline's fitting of these things coming out, I feel book two Shallot probably won't go Super Saiyan Blue either. Of course, we'll have to see if Book 1 changes my mind. Definitely could. 110% could change my mind if things happen quicker in there. But I think Book 3 might be where we tend to look. Now, of course, a lot can happen in Books 1 and 2 before Book 3, so we'll have to check that out. But at their current re rate of release, let me uh, switch the screen real fast here. All right, here we are on DBZ space. It gives you like the dates of everything when it's released, so it helps you out when you're trying to figure out you know, when stuff is coming out, trying to follow the trends and whatnot. So in part 10, we got book one here. This came out on May 12th, and that's a while ago. We've only gotten five, four books, I guess, since then, but five books in total when you include that date. So May 12th, book two then came out on June 16th, a whole month after. It took a whole month for us to get book two. So as you can see, it kind of takes a while, or at least it has been when it comes to part 10. Book three came out on July 7th. So that was about three-ish weeks after we got book two. So about three weeks for that one, nearly a month on that one. Book four then came out exactly three weeks after we got book three. So... As you can see, it took another about three weeks here. So it went from a month, a month, three weeks, three weeks. Book five, our most recent one, September 1st, uh, about a month after we got book four. So it's taking about three weeks to a month. So I think that's, I guess, the timeline we should anticipate. Of course, I guess it could shorten to about two weeks. I'd say about two weeks to a month is probably the range you could anticipate us getting it, but it's safer to go more towards the three weeks, I'd say even heavily towards the month when we're trying to anticipate part 11 books coming up. So if part 11, book one, comes out in a month, that would be the beginning of October. And that would be, again, as I mentioned, would probably be part where Goku assembles the team you see the team you find out the goal of the team you do some battles maybe you know seeing how strong your teammates are going to be with shallot and then you fight maybe some baddies but shout doesn't need to go blue at this point so start of part 11 i don't see shout going blue yet and that would be based on what we have around the beginning of october another month ish three weeks we're around the end of october which is around halloween i would also just not think this is the time for super saiyan blue shout of course if big things happen in book one of part 11, completely change my mind. So we'll have to see how they start out, what kind of feel, I guess, you know, how quickly they kind of are progressing towards Shout getting Super Saiyan Blue, because we know it, Super Saiyan God isn't getting the job done anymore. It just isn't getting the job done. So we'll have to see how quickly, you know, book one kind of takes it. But I would feel as of right now, with their pacing of the story, that book two probably won't have Shout going Super Saiyan Blue either around the end of October. 
Then our next one would probably come around the end of November, assuming, again, this is all just... They could go faster than this. They 110% could, but we're just assuming at a month pace right here. We'll have to see, of course. But at the end of November, that would be Black Friday time. I feel that would be good time in the story. So, you know, book one, they just kind of battle it. You know, they find out who the team is, their goal. They fight maybe some bad people, you know, fight each other, because that's what Saiyans do. Book two, they fight bad people. Things start, there's some, there begins to be clear signs of some dire situation going on that Shout is going to need to help get people out of. His teammates, his friends, whoever it may be. Then book three, if it's around that kind of uh, Black Friday time, Shalit could then at that point be needed to transform because Super Saiyan God isn't getting the job done. It pushes Shalit. Maybe there's some training at some point in these, you know, earlier books too as well that could help out. Shalit needs to go Super Saiyan Blue. It's needed to save someone's life. Shalit goes Super Saiyan Blue. I guess Shalit could get another form because we saw with Goku Black since Zamasu took over his body, he went Rosé. But I think Shalit's just going to go Blue if, unless they gave him a custom form or... He went Super Saiyan 4, but we'd have to see something happen at the beginning of Part 11 to make us feel like it's going to go down that route, because it, it feels like it's Super Saiyan Blue right now. But I can honestly see that. We get Shout Super Saiyan Blue for Black Friday. That then allows them to not necessarily give us MUI, because we're getting something hype. Lots of people have been waiting for a while now. Over, like, I mean, I guess, you know, it's been like over a year that people have been wanting Super Saiyan Blue Shout since we got Super Saiyan God. And so that would be really hype for Black Friday. They could then release some other units on the banner, the Black Friday banner, that aren't MUI related. Of course, we'll have to see how this plays out the rest of September, October, and then even it's the end of November, so all of November as well, before we can truly say that. But I think saving MUI then, not even for Christmas. You save MUI, you don't put them out for Christmas. You make MUI, LF, Master Ultra Instant Goku, and LF Full Power Jiren, the two banner, like the head banner units for a fourth anniversary. I feel like that would be such a good time for MUI. He's definitely deserving. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Evolution Vegeta, honestly, I felt came out at a weird time for how big of, like, and how popular he is. I felt they definitely should have saved him for an at, or a, you know, special time, a festival, I guess, whatever you, whatever they call it in Legends, you know, a big event, such as Black Friday, such as Christmas slash New Year's. And the fact that they didn't, you know, uh, I think kind of maybe took away from some of the hype of Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta coming out, but I'm still hyped he came out. I just feel like he should have been saved for a better time, more suiting for him. I think that's what they should do for MUI. Bring him out for fourth anniversary. I feel it'd be perfect. We've gotten all of like the hype fusions, I feel for the most part, besides like transforming ones. We don't have Super Gogeta yet, an LF Super Gogeta that is. And I think that could be actually a big thing for the Christmas New Year's. We got Gogeta Blue and Broly last year from the Broly movie. Give us LF Super Gogeta and LF Super Janemba from that movie. And that would be kind of like a perfect thing, I feel, for that Christmas New Year's banner. It'd be hype. Gogeta fanboys would be hyped. I'd be hyped because I get a new Fusions unit. But Shout Super Saiyan Blue for Black Friday could make sense from both the story aspect standpoint, I guess. How long these have been taking to come out, these books, and all that kind of jazz, you know, him being hype. Release some other units for the banner. Maybe Sword of Hope Trunks. He comes out along. Maybe he gets involved in the story. Because we are getting heavy, heavy signs and vibes that we're seeing, you know, the two Goku Blacks. Or I guess not the two Goku Blacks. The two Zamasus in the story up to something. Maybe Goku has assembled that Trunks in this, you know, tournament of power, you know, thing going on. Tournament of time. Is that what it's called? Thing going on. Maybe he's gotten that Trunks. And so that'll be a big thing in the story. Sword of Hope Trunks. They'll release a Super Saiyan Blue Shallot. Give us a Sword of Hope Trunks. Maybe, maybe they'd release a banner with like Giblet or something. I don't know. I can't really predict that as of right now. So I'm not going to say that. But maybe we get Sword of Hope Trunks. Some, maybe a non-LF fusion corrupted Zamasu or something like that. Maybe transforming one. And... Then Super Saiyan Blue Shout, I think could be really nice for Black Friday. Then maybe Super Gogeta and Super Janemba, I feel like that would just kind of fit in with the theme of a movie with Gogeta from last year. We'd get another one of those. And then MUI for fourth anniversary with Jiren. I think that would be really nice. It makes sense with the timeline of how long they're taking to do these things. Maybe it's in book four. It happens, you know, at the end of November. Nonetheless, it's the same kind of deal. And yeah, I think that's what you should kind of anticipate for Shallot. I don't think you should get your hopes up too soon. We'll see what book one brings us of part 11. It could completely change my mind. And if there's some new information, which it, there will be new information, but if it changes my mind, I will of course make an update video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. When do you think we're gonna get Super Saiyan Blue Shallot? Do you think we'll get him instead of MUI for Black Friday? Save MUI for fourth anniversary as I kind of laid out in my 
little plan there. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Or could we get both? Do you think we'll get both? Let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell for notifications to be notified every time I post a video. But I hope you all are staying happy and healthy, having the best of days out there. And I should catch y'all tomorrow.